fuck with good. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let me know you're ready. Josh G. Masterson, better known as Dizzy. I'm 26 from the DC metropolitan area. Um, I'm a stylist and image consultant, and I also do creative marketing and branding for various companies, clients, um, and stuff like that. I just try to take people's brands and sharpen them, clean them up, and, and help them out wherever they need help. So Oval is a creative services company that was started by my mentor, Set Free Richardson, and his wife, Liza. And we're basically just a creative team that takes a client and just does all their rebranding from everything from interior design, styling, graphic design, uh, marketing, web design, anything that they would possibly need. We keep all of those uh, aspects in-house. So anytime that there's a fashion-related project or something that requires my area of expertise, I would assist over on that project. Um, and we're working with clients from Most Deaf to Dee and Ricky to we have restaurants that we've done design for. We have um, various boutiques and things like that. So we, our clients kind of span across the board because different people need uh, marketing and branding in different areas. So it makes Oval a really diverse um, entity when they we're able to offer a wide array of services. My most memorable project was probably my sneaker store, um, the Get Dizzy store that I started in 2006 at the age of 20. And it was basically, it started off as a consignment venture um, that I was doing with a partner. And it basically just took on a life of its own and just turned into something a lot bigger than I expected. And the impact of that store and um, the relationships that I gained from running it and um, all the things that I learned doing business at such a young age have really helped me um, throughout this process of being in the industry and, and just doing uh, business now. I can really attribute back to that experience. And um, that's probably why it was the most important project I've worked on so far. Um, currently, I'm working on an unreleased project called The Minimalist, which is a basically um, the more mature, grown up version of myself as I'm redeveloping my taste and things that I'm into and it's encompassing everything from fashion editorials to um, guest designing uh, signature pieces for various collections and stuff like that so I'm really excited about that because it's going to get to showcase a different uh, aspect of me that people aren't really used to and uh, you'll be seeing a lot of that coming soon and definitely in the next few months and throughout this year there'll be a lot of different minimalist projects that I'm introducing so I'm excited about that as well. I like to draw inspiration from anyone that's not afraid to push the boundaries and be innovative and try new things and I love people that pay attention to detail and because of that I draw most of my inspiration from just everyday people on the street. Um, I love seeing people push boundaries but in the context of function so I like people that wear things that you wouldn't normally see and they work it into their everyday lives a certain way and I like people that aren't, aren't afraid to stick with a certain aesthetic all the time and, and, and create a look for themselves and, and really uh, brand their own style and their own identity. So one uh, style tip that I would give to the average man is just to make sure that your clothes fit. And I think um, the concept of tailoring your clothes to fit your body and, and your proportions is very important because when your clothes fit you, your personality can be seen through what you're wearing and your clothes don't just, you don't, you're not drowning behind your clothes. And, it just kind of gives you a little bit of a cleaner and more structured look. And once you do that, it's, uh, it's you tend to look a little bit more confident when your clothes fit you and everything looks better that way. Mm -hmm.